years ago. This is when they started making clocks in the forest. So, the first black forest clocks were just simple wooden clocks like this one. And they were powered by a single stone hanging down. So, to wind it up, I take the other end of the string, pull it up like so. Now, over time, the stone will slowly, slowly drop. This is what makes the wheels turn. And later on, you have to wind it up again. So, this is not yet a cuckoo clock, but cuckoo clocks work the same way. Instead of a single stone, they are powered by these metal weights. But it's the same way, you have to wind them up like so. So, it was in the 1700s that the Germans started to get really creative with the clocks. And this is when they started painting the clocks in a form of what we call a shield clock. Now, it was in the 1760s that they added the very first cuckoo to these clocks. There he is. So, he comes out here every half an hour. We're coming up to four o'clock, which means he will cuckoo one, two, three, four, four times. So he tells you what time it is. Now, this is a special clock of ours. Instead of a cuckoo, we have a tailor, and behind him is mother-in-law. So they make a very good team because every half an hour, when the tailor gets a little bit tired, this is time for his mother-in-law to give him just the right amount of motivation <laughs> to keep working for the next half hour. So sometimes he needs more. Again, four o'clock means he needs four bashes to the head. So you can imagine how he feels at 12 o'clock. I can see that a lot of ladies are smiling. So, try it at home. It will triple productivity, believe me. So. so, this is another special one of ours. This one is special because it has two doors at the top. So, behind one door, there is a cuckoo. The second door will only open once every hour. So, when the man plays his violin, then the girl comes out to listen to the music. Now, this one, as you can see, has three weights. Now, three weights means that it is a musical clock. The third weight powers a music box. So, two weights means that only the cuckoo is there. And she goes back inside and waits for the next hour. So, this is an example of the first kind of carved clock in Germany. So, starting in the 1850s, they stopped painting and started actually carving the faces themselves. So this is an early example, so it's quite simple. Just grape leaves making the border, the rest in the shape of a house. But over time, this has developed, and today they can make pieces like this. Now, this is a modern piece. It's about six to eight weeks worth of work from start to finish. So this would not have been possible in the olden days, in the 1800s, but Many things have not changed. For example, they are still always using the same kind of wood. This is German linden wood. You might know it as bass or as lime wood. It has a lot of names. But the important thing is it's a very, very soft wood. And in Germany, this has been the top wood for carving for well over 500 years. The other thing is the tools with which the carving is done. These have also not changed for 500 years. They are just very, very simple carving tools. You don't need a saw, you don't need a drill, just good eyes and good hands. And that's that. So, that is the history. But let's move on to the making of a clock. If you want a nice, simple cuckoo clock, you can start with a case like this one. You can add a lindenwood frame with the grape leaves. You can finish with a cuckoo on the top, and then, voila! You have a nice, traditional, modern cuckoo clock.
Inside the clock will go a mechanism such as these. Now these are made by hand from brass and stainless steel, and they last on average for 70 years if they are well maintained. So the idea was that no person should buy more than one cuckoo clock in their lifetime. So, one interesting piece. Now, this is what the music box looks like. So, one of these is inside here in any clock with three weights. So, I'm going to play the music for you now. You have to listen closely. Can we hear the music? Yes. Just a little bit, yeah? But in the violin clock, it was loud and clear. Now, there's a good reason for that. The box is not broken. If you want to hear the music, what you can do is take a piece of wood, put the two pieces together. Now, now everybody can hear the music, yes? yes. Now, this is all thanks to the wood. The wood acts as a resonator. That means that it vibrates and amplifies the volume. So, the wooden case here of the clock is actually very important. It works the same way as the wooden case of a guitar or a violin. So, that is the reason you get such a nice, clear sound from the cuckoo clocks. So, Another important part of any cuckoo clock will be two bellows, such as these. These also make some noise. They go... So, together. And that's how they make the cuckoo sound. It's actually very simple, just... This was an adult cuckoo for a large clock. <coughs> Medium-sized clocks have teenage cuckoos. <laughs> And the smallest clocks have baby cuckoos. Now, remember, if it's a mechanical cuckoo clock, the weights are always slowly, slowly coming down. So you need to keep them wound up. Clocks with the smaller weights like these, we call one day movements, meaning it takes one day to go from top to bottom. So these are daily winding clocks. Clocks with the larger weight are eight-day movements. So from top to bottom takes a full eight days. So these are weekly winding. These are the daily winding clocks. But you can also find clocks with plastic or wooden weights. These are for the battery-powered clocks. So for these, the weights are just for decoration, and you never, ever have to wind them up. So some people believe that if there is a cuckoo clock in the house, then you have to get used to the noise of 24 hours a day, even when you're trying to sleep, but that is not true. You can put the cuckoo to sleep yourself. Every clock has a switch, so if I want to go to bed, I flick the switch up. Now, time passes, no cuckoo. All is quiet. He just gets time to eat, to read, to shower, I don't know and I don't ask, but when I come down in the morning, I can flick the switch back and then he is well rested and he is ready for a hard day's work. Right, if you'd just like to follow me over here, I'm going to show you some more interesting clocks, then I will explain about the taxi.